Right, hello everybody. Uh, let me tell you all about Insta360s. What gives me the authority to be able to speak about them? Well, there's the one inch version, there's the X2 version, there's the RS Twin version. That's the real life holding it in my hands. That's the real life holding it in my hands. And that's the real life holding it in my hands. Let me start off by saying this one inch version, without a doubt, if it works and you understand exactly its limitations and also its capabilities. I would say for me, up in the mountains, blogging, uh, using it as an ineffective drone that follows me either in front or behind, I would say there's not a better camera on the market. It's ideal for me when it's working, when it's doing its job. And its job is simple, basically make good quality videos of me. When it's doing its job, I don't see any better alternative out there. I do love this camera, however, Insta360, I'm afraid to say, you and I are not the best of friends. However, I keep giving you guys money and let's see what happens. Right then, so the reason we're not friends, as I say, I'm significantly poorer for these purchases. And also just not those, these, and these, and these, and these. All of these purchases. So the reason being, I bought an RS Twin. It seemed like it was absolutely everything I needed. And of course, I've got the, uh, I've got the 360, uh, it was the twin version, so it gets both lenses. Absolutely everything I wanted, everything I needed in a camera. And I started filming with it, and I was convinced I was gonna love it. And the truth is, the one I had was a waste of time. Corrupted files, it kept switching off. Uh, the battery wasn't very good, it overheated. The quality was okay in the center, but then on the outside, really not very good at all. The nighttime use, ask me if you can use this at night, and the simple answer is no, you can't. That's it, there's no discussion on that. Pathetic at night, I didn't buy it for a nighttime camera, so that wasn't, it's just a, a thing I found out. It could be, I don't see why it can't be better. So I reached down to Insta360 via their customer service, customer service communication hotline, and I've got an email chain of all the correspondents, so there's no debate, no debate in this. And I said, I'm having all these issues, but the single biggest issue is the corrupted files. Uh, the fact that it overheated, it just meant that I made shorter files instead of being able to run for 15 or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, which theoretically it should be able to work. The battery only lasts for about 45 minutes. These batteries are replaceable, but but I, here in the UAE, I can't buy a replacement battery. So I just have to use a power brick to trickle charge it or put it in the car or whatever, if uh, needs be. So the corrupted files is a big issue because bottom line is I can't do anything with anything that doesn't work. Uh, they told me the problem was the memory card. So I bought myself a new memory card. I'd actually bought a memory card for it when I bought it and I knew it was compatible. So I bought a more expensive version of, on the compatible list. So I've now got two memory cards of which I'm certain both are compatible. However, it didn't resolve the issue. Um, I went back to Insta and they said, send us a file and we'll, we'll work on it, one of the corrupted files, and we'll see if we can repair it. I sent them a file, did everything they wanted, they couldn't repair it. They said, send us another one. I said, hang on a sec now, you know, I bought a brand new camera. Um, I've got dozens of these files. And also, what about in years to come? Are we just going to do this all the time? So I had to, I was forced, I had to send it back. Oh, one of the things they did say, and again, it's in the email correspondence, they said, ah, there is a problem with it. We'll come back to you, we'll speak to our technical guys and we'll come back to you. This is Cherry, by the way. We'll come back to you and um, we'll come back to you. I'll let you decide if they came back to me. And the answer is no, they didn't. I returned it, got my full refund. But one of the issues was that whilst I had bought that in the UAE, I wanted to buy the mic adapter and the hot shoe mount. Okay, so I bought those and had them sent to my UK address because I was traveling there the next week and I was going to use this camera for filming in the UK. I live in the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. So I arrived into the UK without a camera because I had to send it back for a full refund. And now I've got these, these parts for a camera I don't own. When I returned to the UAE, I purchased from an authorized retailer this very same camera. And I'm very pleased to say that it works I say as it should, it still overheats. There is the occasional drop file. The, light, the, the low light, the nighttime light is still rubbish. The battery is still terrible. 
but it works. I was very pleased with the, the images it produced because there's lots of lights here in the UAE. It's a very bright place, sun's out all the time. The quality of the images as it was before, it's, it's good, especially in the center outside. So I've got the camera, I've got the adapters. The fact that once you put the adapter in, oh, I put this in the wrong way around, excuse me, just one second. The fact that uh, once you put the adapter in, it's now not waterproof. In this day and age, that's got to be made waterproof. There's no doubt about it. I'm not going to go swimming with it, but if that little plastic thing there makes it waterproof, once I put the adapter in, I don't see why that won't, can't be made waterproof. The adapter works brilliantly. Whilst I'm in there, the memory card is in there. I've got chunky hands, I know I have, but I can't get that memory card out. I cannot do that. Give me a thousand pounds right now, or 5,000 dirhams, or four and a half thousand dollars. I can't get that out. I can release it. I can't even release it. I'll turn that off now. Won't turn off. Won't even turn off. Right, not to worry. I'm not. Uh, I can't get that out. If I want to remove that memory card now, I've got to take it out, I've got to slide it out. I can't do it with my right hand. It's impossible for me to do it with my right hand. I can just about do it with my left hand. Just about, just about. I, I don't know. It just doesn't have to be this hard. The amount of technology that goes into this The amount of technology that goes into this, surely we can work that out. So anyway, even that's not the game changer. That's not my biggest issue. My biggest issue now, so I've got the memory cards, the microphone adapter in there. I've now put the hot shoe mount on the top. I think probably some of you will know where I'm going with it. I've got my Rode Wireless Go. Um, where is my Rode Wireless Go? Had it here a second ago, such a mess. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I got my Rode Wireless Go. It was actually on the side of that. So I've got my Rode Wireless Go. I stick it into the hot shoe mount on the top there. And it's fine if you're only using the front facing camera. If you're using the 360 camera, that takes, I don't know, 20% of the top of the 360 image. It makes it un unusable. And then you have the old dreaded red cable uh, syndrome that is so prevalent with this, the most poorly designed hot shoe mount in the world, that's it. So that hot shoe mount is a waste of time, waste of money. What I found I had to do was, I had to use a workaround, let me turn that upside down. And what I did was I had the road, they got a little magnetic, it's quite good, a little magnetic uh, hot shoe mount type thing. And I adapted it by, by removing some of the pins. And what I had to do was I had to use Gorilla tape, glue that to that, and then glue with removable tape that to that. And then what I could do was I could mount the lens, the microphone in the vertical plane, which made it usable. But I shouldn't have had to do that. That wasn't necessary because what was necessary is for Insta360 to have designed something that would have worked in the first place. They knew it was an issue because they've resolved it in one of the latter cameras. Yeah, that's, that's that. That's that rant over about that. I have two selfie sticks. I've got the Insta360 Carbon, so, well, I've got three selfie sticks. In actual fact, I've got another one which swings around while my wife has got. So I've got that one there. That's a three meter one there. Little things, this rubber stopper here comes off. And when that comes off, you lose the selfie stick down the bottom, which is no big deal. You can get it out, but there has to be a way that simple little rubber things like that don't fall off. Also, when that rubber thing comes down here, it actually then stops you, um, stops you doing certain other things as well. A number of times I thought, oh, I wish that wasn't there. So that rubber 
needs to be able to stuck, stuck on there. That's it, because you can't put it down all the way until it's at the top. So that's the best selfie stick, believe it or not. What you can do with this, each individual section could be locked off with a little sort of quarter turn with some tension under it. And that's, that's good. I love that, and it's rigid enough to be deleted. That's the best selfie stick. That's the best selfie stick, all right? The selfie stick that I've got on here, I'll tell you about in a second. All right, so the low light's not very good. The quality of the image is okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I heard about the one inch pro. I thought that's the answer to all of my issues. Low light is better. Image is better, image quality is better, etc., etc., etc. They resolve the the issue with the um, the visible microphone um, cable with what they call the invisible mic mount. They resolved it all, so I purchased it, and to be honest, it's very, very good. It is resolved. It's on the side. You can't see it. Um, so I purchased this now. Because of that, my wife is feeling very left out. And I understand, and also I understand her sort of her frustrations with me because I've got two cameras and she hasn't got any of these. So she bought the X2. And she only bought it about a month ago. So you probably know where I'm going to with this. And also when she bought it, she bought the box and she bought the lens mount, the lens protector, and she bought several things, and also the selfie stick. It all came together in a big package. There's the X2. She really likes it. When she first got it, she, well, she still likes it now. It fits beautifully into the case. That's made to measure, that fits perfectly. It actually, I don't want it to fall out, but that doesn't fall out. Good. However, as soon as you put the lens protector on, which again fits very nicely. Nice accessory, it's covered in fingerprints now. Fits very nicely. Guess what? It doesn't fit. Yes, I can zip it up. Yes, I know it's in there, but it doesn't fit now. To me, that's something that's avoidable. <laughs> you know, this slipped out then. That's something that's avoidable. Maybe there's a rotated position for that with the lens cap, uh, with the, uh, the lens protector. To me, that's just the little things that they don't pay the attention to detail on. They don't reply to my customer service queries. They don't, this here, they don't, it stops becoming waterproof. Um, I don't know, it overheats. All these simple, simple little things that must be avoidable. It has to be better. So, my wife has got the X2. And then, literally about a week after she got it, all you YouTubers that are, um, what, are the, what are the YouTubers called that get the free kit? All the influencers, all the successful YouTubers, they all got given brand new X3s. Fantastic, good for you. However, I had no, we had no idea the X3 was coming out, none. We'd just brought a new one inch version, which had more or less only just come out. And the RS Twin is quite recent as well. And so we just under the impression, it was a bit like iPhone, kind of all of those were the latest versions. However, and again, I, there's a lot of people with the same gripes, the, we paid full price for this and we like the product. But then about a week later, the X3 is announced and about a week later than that, they're in the shops. Just give me the information, let me make an informed choice, let us make an informed choice, and I will buy the, um, you know, I'll buy the one I want to buy. So, very frustrated with the X2, but it's a good camera. Right then, I don't know if I mentioned it, I'll say it now. When I was using the RS Twin, talking about accessories, so I was using the RS Twin with the carbon, three meter carbon selfie stick. And one of the things I was doing, apart from going in the mountains with it over my shoulder, was also mountain biking with it. So I bought two mountain bike kits. Again, Insta360 official kits. And because I wanted to make a sort of V shape, so it really hold the carbon selfie stick and it would be strong. And it felt quite good. However, that's what the attachment should look like, one piece. This is what my attachment looks like, two pieces. That completely sheared off, completely sheared off. And when you look at the quality of it, it's, it's just not, it can be better. It's just not good enough at all. Luckily, my camera stayed on because it was still attached on another, another one on the carbon pole. But that shouldn't be breaking like that, no doubt about it. 
must do better, should do better. So, so I'm now using the Insta360 one inch and I love it. I did say there's no better camera for me out there. However, it's still not perfect any way far from being perfect. It still overheats. You can still only do five or 10 minute video clips. It doesn't matter where it is in an air conditioned car, in an apartment, 20 degrees outside, 50 degrees outside, it overheats after 10 or 15 minutes. That's fine, I got on with that. I've just got to get on with my life and I just do little video clips. One, another thing about all of the cameras, I've not tried it on the X2 because my wife doesn't you do it at all, but the voice activation is a complete liability. So much so, just turn that function off, do not use it at all. Because what I was finding with the RS Twin, I was trying to do it because mine would be three meters behind me or two and a half meters over my shoulder. So to bring the selfie stick in every time to press play or record, <laughs> to do all that was a pain. And so I'd say start, I don't even remember what the actual words were, but I use the official words. Sometimes I say start filming or start recording, whatever it was. Uh, sometimes it would work and then sometimes it wouldn't work. And sometimes I'd actually say it's directly into it and it would work. And sometimes I'd say exactly the same directly into it and it wouldn't work. So much so it was a liability, so much so that it was a liability and that you'd actually have to physically have a look to see if it was recording. So you may as well just press play or record on the, the, the device itself. So the voice activation, forget it, absolute liability. Battery life still isn't good enough, 45 minutes, it still overheats. It's got great, great quality image, significantly better than this one. This now is just a glorified dash cam. That's all I use it for. I don't use the 360. If anyone wants a 360, I can't imagine ever you putting that back into there. I just use this as a dash cam uh, camera. Okay, so the battery is absolute rubbish on this, and I'll say that because it's only 45 minutes. I don't know why it can't be better. If it could be better, I'm sure they would have done it. Maybe there are some technical limitations. So I'll say the battery, sh I would want to be better. If I want to replace this battery, I've got to unscrew this, unscrew the adapter, take the mic mount off, take the invisible mount off, take it out of the case, uh, and that, you know, it's a pain. I can't do that on the mountain, no way. So what I find is I have to use the power brick again and go in through the mic adapter to give it a trickle charge. It's not ideal, but it's what I have to do. Right then, the biggest gripe with this, and this is really frustrating, and I've got so many video clips that will attest to this. My favorite one rotates, twists, and it's solid. This one, <laughs> doesn't. There is an element of it, in actual fact, I can't at the moment, this is stuck. I don't know why, but it is. It's very stiff, one section of it. This now, each one of these can rotate a little bit. And what I find is a little bit suddenly becomes a lot over all of them. But the top piece here rotates continuously for some reason. I have no idea what the thinking behind this was, but that rotates for some reason. And what I find now is, and this is a big issue, so please bear this in mind. When you put the microphone on there, and I use the Rode Wireless 2, let me put that on in the right place, so it's, that's it. So that's in the correct position now. What I find is I need it to be in the horizontal plane so that the stitch line is through the middle. If it's in this vertical plane like this, the stitch line will go through my head. And whilst I don't look very good, I don't need to be made to look worse. And with that stitch line going through my head, especially from behind, it looks like I've got a third of the head missing. And what I find is I start off like this, and then slowly but surely, after five minutes or two minutes or one minute or seven minutes, slowly but surely, and it really is quite as simple as this, this will rotate and drop to that position. Okay, I've, got, I've done a video clip to show you this. This actually, you know, it's, it's easy to drop. I'm not doing anything here. And it always just drops, 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 drops. And I find that it's just gonna cut my head off numerous times. There is a workaround to it. I know there is. It's called putting gaffer tape around that, putting gorilla tape around that. What's that all about, Insta360? It's the little attention to detail. 
that really frustrates me about this company. That shouldn't be happening. And if I put gaffer tape or 360 uh, gorilla tape around that, it means I then can't put the thing away if I'm in a tricky part of the mountain, which I want to just put in my rucksack. So not good at all. Not good at all. Listen. I think that's enough. I think you've got my gist. The amount of technology that goes into making this, as far as I'm concerned, the best camera on the market for what it does, the amount of technology that goes into this camera, and then, let's be honest, let's be honest, I won't say it, but the, the, the shit, the rubbish that then accompanies it, the lack of thought, which means that I can't take a memory card out, the overheating, all the little things, not replying to my emails when you've admitted that there's a problem and you'll get back to me and one of your technicians will get back to me and you ignore me and I have to return it and then I can't use it in England. It's the little things, Insta360. I love your camera, but you guys are really, you bug the hell out of me. Listen, Enjoy it. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, come and see my films. See what you think. Tell me what you think. Don't tell me about the cut-off head, though. I've had enough of that already. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Peace out, the English Explorer.